All right, you're looking at the countdown to tonight's SpaceX launch from Vandenberg. Liftoff is scheduled for 854, so just over two hours from right now. Here's what many Southern Californians can expect to see in the sky if tonight's launch goes forward. It's also a clear example of how private companies like SpaceX are reshaping space exploration. But tonight, Bill Nye, the science guy, is warning deep cuts to NASA's budget could bring U.S. space exploration to what he calls an extinction level event. Fox's Madeline Rivera has more. We're not talking about delays in scientific exploration. We're talking about the end of one of the biggest names in science, Bill Nye, is warning about what he calls extinction-level cuts to NASA's budget that could leave the country lagging behind when it comes to space exploration. The Trump administration is proposing a 24 percent cut, looking to shave $6 billion from programs directly related to space flight and manned missions. Some lawmakers say that's a national security risk. We're falling behind with respect to China. They're pushing money towards advancing science in China, competing against us. Well, we're doing the exact opposite. And the science guy says it's about more than just dollars and cents. NASA has been responsible for many of the key scientific and engineering breakthroughs of the past 60 years. And without proper funding, it could all come to a halt. There is no private option. There is no business case for the search for extraterrestrial life. There is no profit to be made studying Saturn's mysterious polar storm. But the administration says that's not true, claiming the privatization of spaceflight has led to significant breakthroughs and cost reductions. What we did on the space station has developed a multi-billion dollar business. Blue Origin and SpaceX and others, you can get a satellite into orbit for less than a million dollars right now. The White House says it's flagged more than 40 NASA projects for defunding, calling them unaffordable. In Washington, Mallory Rivera, Fox News.